Dear viewers, welcome to the YouTube channel x 2 Work Chemistry. In this video, we are going to learn the topic called Chemical Reactions Based on Electricity. Do you think some chemical reactions occurs only by fast electricity? Let us find out in this video. Now, what is the, very, uh, what is the use of electric current? See, nowadays, the electricity is very useful for our living. So without electricity, the imagination of world will be very difficult. So we use electricity for cooking, lighting, grinding and watching TV, charging of mobile phones, laptops, computers and water heaters etc. And we use for many purposes, right? Do you know we can use electricity to perform some chemical reactions. Okay, let us see some examples. Before that, we will see some basic about this topics. The solution of some chemical substances decomposes by electricity. So this process is called electrochemical reaction. If any chemical reactions occurs by passing electricity or using electricity, we call it as electrochemical reaction or if any decomposition takes place by passing electricity, we call electrolysis or electrolytic decomposition, electrolytic decomposition. So it can be Say, we can say electrolysis or electrolytic decomposition because we are decomposing the chemical substance by electricity. What do you mean by electro? Electro means electrons, lysis means breaking or decomposition. So the word electrolysis means breaking with the help of electrons. The passing of electron is called electricity. So we call this electrolysis. Now, let us look at the some examples which undergo decomposition when you pass electricity. Water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen atoms. So when the combination of hydrogen and oxygen molecules takes place, water is formed. Right? So the water is nothing but H2O. It's made up of one oxygen and two hydrogen atoms. Similarly, come to the sodium chloride crystal. Once uh, a minute part of sodium chloride crystal looks like this. You see, the sodium ion is uh, combined with chloride ions repeatedly in a three dimensional structure like this. It will form the crystal like this. So, the sodium ion and the chloride ion are fundamental particle of this sodium chloride crystals. So, the chloro sodium chloride made up of sodium ion and chloride ion. So, these two are decomposed electrically. That's what we are going to see in the next video. Now, you could clearly see this picture by children. When electricity is passed through the water containing small amount of sulfuric acid. So, this is an electrolysis tank. In this, we have taken a rod, a metal rod, which is a connected to the negative end of the battery. Similarly, this is a, a, another metal rod which is connected to the positive end of the battery. We have taken acidified water, that means water with a small amount of sulfuric acid. The water is normally in bad, electro, bad electrolytes, it doesn't conduct electricity. But when you add a sulfuric acid, it becomes a good conductor. So the sulfuric acid is used to increase the conductivity of water because sulfuric acid is a strong acid, it ionizes completely, that means it splits up into H plus and SO4 minus. So the H plus ions are responsible for the conductivity of water. Now once H plus is formed in the solution, that's what in the water, if you look at it, H2O, H is positive, oxygen is negative. So the H particles, you can see, if you see the H particles, you can see that clearly it goes to the uh, negative electrode, we call cathode. So H alone will move to the cathode and release hydrogen gas. Whereas the minus oxygen will release to this 
anode towards anode and then release oxygen gas. So this is what happens. You could see clearly, right, in this picture, this is a demonstration of uh, uh, decomposition of water by electricity. So in one electrode, cathode, a lot of bubbles you can see because when the water decomposes, it releases large amount of uh, hydrogen. Uh, it means it twice the amount of uh, oxygen. So you can see the other electrode. If the hydrogen is two, oxygen will be one. So in the cathode we have more bubbles because hydrogen produced in the decomposition of water is more when compared to the oxygen produced. So that's why. So this is a decomposition reaction of water by electricity. So such a reaction happens only by passing electricity. Come to the next one. The sodium chloride solution. We call brine. What do you call brine? A saturated solution of sodium chloride is called brine. Or else we can say seawater. Seawater mainly contains a substance called sodium chloride. Sodium chloride. The concentrated solution of sodium chloride is called brine. So, otherwise you can call saturated solution of sodium chloride. It's electrolyzed. What do you call electrolyzed? By passing electricity, we can decompose to produce chlorine and hydrogen gas along with sodium chloride, sodium hydroxide. First of all, you could see this picture. It's a very simple idea about it's an electrolytic tank again. The one uh, in the tank we have taken a uh, sodium chloride solution. It means water mixed with sodium chloride. So this is a solution of sodium chloride. That is a uh, one electrode which is uh, connected to the positive end of the battery. It's called anode. There is another one which is connected to the negative end of the battery which is called cathode. Now, when you pass electricity to these uh, rods, what happens? Now, actually, the sodium and the chlorines are solids. So you could see this picture are solid. So when in the solid state, these ions cannot move. Whereas once you dissolve in the water, what happens? These ions will ionize, sodium ion and chloride ion will ionize, and then can move in the solution. So now they are free now. So once electricity is passed, positive ions like uh, sodium ion are attracted towards the opposite electrodes. Sodium is positive, so it goes near to the cathode. So similarly, chlorine is negative, so it goes towards the anode because it is positive. So once it is, uh, goes there, what happens? So the chlorine atom, chlorine chloride ion have uh, electrons, will lose electron to the anode and becomes chlorine, chlorine gas. So it will be liberated at the anode. Similarly, uh, the high in the water we have a H plus, right? And OH minus. The H plus again uh, will uh, uh, come towards the cathode and it combines, it take up the electron and it combines as H2 and release the R. Whereas in the solution, if you talk, talk about, there is a sodium ion and a OH minus. So this will combine to form sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. So when you electrolyze brine, we get chlorine gas, hydrogen gas, along with sodium hydroxide. So it is an industrial preparation of uh, chlorine by this method. So you could see this uh, uh, animation file. So once the sodium chloride solution is taken, the red sodium plus will move towards cathode. You could see minus electrode and then the deposit sodium in the positive here and uh, the chlorine will be uh, attracted towards positive anode and then it combines to form chlorine gas so that will be liberated in the anode so this is what happens in the electrolysis of water so that, uh, let us see the other reaction happens uh, uh, because of electricity so the lead bromide electrolysis the lead bromide can be decomposed with the help of uh, uh, electricity, the lead ions uh, uh, will move towards cathode because it is positive and deposited cathode whereas PR will move to the uh, anode, it is negative part. Similarly, uh, elec electrolysis of acidified water, just now we have seen, so you could see this, two volumes of hydrogen is produced whereas only one volume of water will be produced. Similarly, um, uh, purification of uh, copper will be done with the electrolysis. Another information if you look at it, the electrolysis was introduced by 
the term electrolysis was introduced by a scientist called Michael Faraday. Uh, even you might have come across his unit of electricity Faraday in 19th century. Electrolysis is the combination of electron plus lysis, right? So the electron related to the electricity, lysis means decomposition. I hope this video is very helpful in learning the concept called uh, chemical reaction based on electricity. If you like this video, subscribe and click the bell button to get the notification instantly. Like, share and command if you have any doubt. Thank you my dear children.